Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Killian Jornet after the 2016 Hard Rock 100. You've won again. Yeah, congratulations for you, huh? Oh, thank Good you. Race. It is such a challenge, this race. Um, what was the most difficult part of this race for you? Or probably, or 100 miles is always hard, and this year probably it was the heat because at least we had a clear night, like the night was easy, but uh, during the day, the heat, it was probably the, the highest challenge, I think, this year, yeah. I mean, you, seeing you run 100 miles, you seem invincible. You seem like you're, it's easy. Did you have to, like, dig deep, or? Yeah, or uh, it's always um, ups and downs in yeah. a 100 mile race, and it's important, I think, to, to keep in the lower moments, like just to, to be, to don't be nervous and like to, to try to don't lose too much energy and to, to take advantage of the high moments. But yeah, I, yeah, I think it's important. Like, or for me, I, I, I like to enjoy, so I like to take really easy in the beginning <laughs> and just then the finish is always easy if you if you save energy for that. Where was the lowest point for you? Ah, uh, probably it's uh, or here in Harrow, it's always the same place. It's always like uh, from Uray. Uh, this area because it's where it's more hot mm -hmm. and and probably this year from Ure a bit up to um, to engineers it was I needed to really like go easy and just drink a lot and and uh, yeah take it yeah I was feeling uh, mm, almost cramps or not cramps but I was feeling my muscles was a bit heat so I needed yeah. to really put some blood <laughs> in the water and just take did it you, easy yeah. yeah so some of the stream crossings did you like yeah like to, pause and yeah pause there put take the cab oh. and put water on and you were yeah, it was yeah. so hot and you, the sun yeah, hit yeah and it's it. hitting there hitting there hitting there yeah. Yeah, yeah um did you have any stomach problems no actually the stomach was pretty good all the time i i i eat a bit too much Mexican the, the <laughs> night before, and that was bad for the <laughs> first hours. <laughs> like the first two hours was a bit bad in the stomach, but after that it was really good. Uh, and you had a pretty unique experience in that you ran with Jason Schlarb the entire race, is that true? Yeah, or uh, not the entire, yeah, but cool. almost. We, we start together, and uh, I didn't know him from before. I, I have been reading of him, and mostly like the, mm -hmm. the, the three days uh, <laughs> they have uh, in the ski, uh, when they did the hard rock skiing. Maybe you want to do that? Uh, yeah, sure, that, that might be amazing to do. And, and we were talking a lot about that, and about the skiing, and about running, and places, and just having fun. And then, yeah, it was a moment that Xavi was pushing a bit harder, so uh, uh, I was with him. But then, I, uh, after Jason came back, and we was finishing. And how did it come to be that you two finished together? Or uh, we was going together all the all the race all the night and like uh, sharing moments and when you came like to the last pass it's like mm, it, it feels uh, unnecessary or it feels strange to just push like hard mm -hmm. to beat someone or to, to finish in front of someone like for two minutes when you has been like sharing all the race together and it was uh, it was nice like that it, it was a journey that we spent together and it like it's more, I, or for me in this moment, it was more about the journey about Hard Rock than, than about the, the performance mm -hmm. here. And it was, anyway, it was a big uh, performance, I think, uh, under 23 hours. And yeah, I think it was that that make. And, and now you hang up your running shoes for the season? Yeah, I hang up. Yeah, I, I will <laughs> put in the, or I will still training yeah. a little, but. But yeah, not more racing, only like uh, for some climbing and, yeah. and preparing for Himalayas. Best of luck. Congratulations you on your win. Much. Best of luck in the And Himalaya. you too. Congratulations. Thank you. Sorry, we're a bit uh, crammed here. Killian's about to take off. But uh, two more questions for you, Killian. Mm -hmm. You've now been here at Hard Rock three times. I know you just finished. But do you think you'd be back? <laughs> yeah, like yesterday when I finished. <laughs> or all the times we finish 100 miles, and especially this one that is really tough. You say why I'm doing that? Why it's yeah, why I'm so stupid and and uh, like everything is hurting a little. Like you you want to sleep and everything, but yeah, the day after like the legs start to feel good again. It's like oh, it was we we forgot so fast the bad things yeah and the pain. But uh, yeah, absolutely like it's 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 such an experience. That's incredible. I mean, like you run so, so few races now. I mean, you've you've paired back, but this seems to have captured a, a, a place in your heart and soul. Yeah, it's. It's everything, the ambience, the the people here, the, the ambience around, it's something really special, so. Now, you do have another major goal on your feet before you get on skis this year. You do have Everest. Um, what will you do to prepare? Or well, actually, point? now I I will go back to the Alps for uh, 10 more days uh, and try to do a uh, big amount of climbing and altitude before going there, and then it's only like, 
when we are in in uh, Tibet, uh, just to acclimatize mm -hmm. and to get ready. I think it's. Uh, I'm excited, but it's important to to be patient too. Like it's about uh, taking the time to to yeah wait for the good conditions, mm -hmm. uh, for the good uh, weather windows, and so yeah, it's important to to be patient for that. And. Um Obviously, you would love to summit Everest, but what is your ultimate goal? What, what would be the perfect day for you? Or, yeah, the perfect day. It's every day. Like mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy like uh, every day and things. And there, it's it's nice to be in in Tibet. It's nice to to climb mountains. The same is mm -hmm. nice to be here and to share the race with uh, Jason or others or with the crew. And like I think uh, I I I'm not a big like goal things person. I I like to just enjoy every really day experience. and to do things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the the preparation, is there anything like anything other than the acclimation that you still feel you need to do to to be prepared? Mm, no, or like always, you can do things to be more prepared. Yeah. But uh, it's mostly like uh, I has been done the last mm -hmm. ten days before coming here, like to do a big amount of climbing and like to get really to move easy in any kind of terrain, and it's to like climb a lot of meters in easy moderate terrain mm -hmm. to when you are up there to don't need to stress about the difficulties but only stress about the altitude yeah. um and you're going without oxygen correct yeah yeah the the goal is to go like alpine style so not oxygen not fixed ropes not uh, camps now you um you know before the race here you said you don't really worry about logistics at all for 100 miles um probably a little different going up everest you have to give it a little more thought yeah sure we <laughs> we wonder a bit more about logistics uh but still, we are a bit uh, punk in the style. Like uh, we like it's all the bureaucracy, like the permits and things that we need to do. But after that, like when we don't know where we will make like our base camp or where we will acclimatize or how we plan. Like uh, we, it will be pretty much on the feeling how we feel to do things, and then it's there where we will start to plan more for. So what makes you try? To, I mean, there's ways to do Everest that are very established and. You know, there's a set routine and everything. What makes you want to go do it your own way? Uh, because it's nice to try things. I think that's the interesting to to try if I'm able to do like in this way and like yeah, it's probably it's uh, less possibilities to do it uh, to to reach, but uh, it's at least something that it's nice to try. It's nice to to see if it's possible or not. It's like why to try to run a hundred miles. Uh, uh, we don't know if it was possible or not, and then you say, okay, it's possible, and it's possible to run fast, and that's so the same, like, why to don't try to go to Everest as we go to a mountain in the Alps or here, like, only with a small backpack. Yeah. So it's not that it's interesting, more than the reaching the summit. Well, enjoy your journey in the Himalaya. Thank and, you very uh, much. And good luck on Everest. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>